will cover the Stevens Aero Model line of radio control model airplane kits. Steven Aeros has a very nice website with a wide range of models. I prefer the lightweight indoor flyers, clear description of what comes with the kit and anything else needed to complete it. In addition, there's a very complete photo illustrated construction guide that lists each step needed to be done. The balsa is very high quality balsa, uh, very accurate laser cut with the parts, notches, tabs, all on each balsa part. Notice here on a shelf, even the location of the radio control electronics is noted uh, on the installation pattern. Many of the parts are built directly over the plans as with conventional models. However, a lot of the parts use a unique jig lock construction method whereby a component, in this case a fuselage, is dry fit together, everything just held in place by the tabs. Once you're satisfied with the fit, use CA to glue everything in place. Once sanded, you get the complete fuselage. Uh, this message method ensures a lightweight structure, jigged, very straight, warp free, ideal for indoor flying models. You can see the final components here ready for covering the fuselage, the tail surfaces, and the wing. Uh, notice the lightweight construction of the ribs and the very small leading edge. Stevens model offers a lightweight aerofilm covering which is ideal for indoor models. Uh, it is lightweight, does not shrink too much, thus very, uh, no warps for uh, these smaller models. Fuselage under construction with the wing post and landing gear in place. The underside of that fuselage showing the installation of the park zone electronics in the front. Notice the thin music wire control rods that extend out to the trail control services all very carefully um, discussed in the building instructions. Pete and Paul uh, fuselage under construction with the landing gear in place. Uh, the finished Pete and Paul came out very nice. Uh, note the radiator and components for the engine. The airplanes fly very well. This is a view of the Pete and Paul in flight at a local indoor flying facility. Front view of the full scale 1926 farm and cart postal aircraft. A side view of that same aircraft. Again, the full scale model and uh, Steven Zero does a very convincing job with their uh, version, <clears throat> indoor radio control of the card postal aircraft. Note also you can get the graphics from Steven Zero for a convincing look. Final example is the Hummingbird, a British low wing sport aircraft design. Hummingbird is typical of the Steven Zero uh, aircraft, well designed, easy to build, looks good using the park zone electronics and can be flown outside under low wind conditions and uh, at your local indoor flying facility. So the wing is just right here with little magnets. You just put it in like this. That's it. Okay. Good. And let's make sure the motor works. Alright. Good.